So, analog signal, what is meant by an analog signal? So, in the last lecture, we have uh, already discussed that the term analog means unique and it cannot be compared with others or it is in a sense it is original. So, I have already told that all the signals that are readily available in nature, they are all of you know analog nature that means they are unique, they cannot be compared with each other, each other. And I have also told that analog signals are the signals which are continuous in time. Now, what does that mean continuous in time? That means, during its, its existence, it has a value at every instant of time. So, like for an example, I am talking, let us say I am talking for 5 minutes. So, in that 5 minutes, I am talking, you know, at each and every point of time, it has got some value, my voice signal has got some value or some amplitude. So, that means another example, let us take that this Indian household power supply. So, it has got a value or amplitude of 220 volts plus minus, that means it is a, you know, it is a sinusoidal signal like this, if you plot, this is time axis and this is the amplitude axis. So, if you plot the household Indian power supply, let us say in voltage, if you plot, this is say plus 220 volts and this is minus 220 volts, it is maximum value, maximum amplitude. And if you compare with time, at each and every point of time, it has got some value that is analog. That means, at each and every point of time of its existent, existence rather, it has got some value or the other. So, that is meant by an analog signal. That means, it is unique, it is original and it is continuous in time. It is continuous in time and the term continuous in time means, it has got some value or the other during the time of its existence. It has got some value. Suppose at this point, at, at this point of time, you can see that the value is at its peak or maximum. This example I have given it for the household Indian power supply. We know that it is a plus minus 220 volts alternating signal. So, this is I have plotted it with time. This is amplitude. I have taken it as a voltage signal. So, at this point of time, it has got its maximum value that is 220 volts. Now, at this point of time, at any other point of time, it has got some other value, but it has got some value. So, that is very important to understand that continuous time signals means it has to have some value at each and every point of time. So, this example, why I am telling it has got some value, some other value? because this is a sinusoidal wave which we can represent like this 220 sin omega t or 220 sin theta where the maximum value is 220 and we know because we know that sin omega t or sin theta or sin omega t value maximum value is 1 or it is restricted the value of sin theta or sin omega t, the maximum and minimum value is restricted between plus and minus 1. So, the maximum value of this is 220, but at different for different values of omega t or theta, this value will change suppose sin some 45 degree sin theta when sin uh, theta value is 45 degree then it has got some value which is say 1 by root 2. So, then this value will be 220 by root 2. So, maybe it is somewhere here, but it has got some value. So, that is the understanding of analog signal. It is a continuous time signal. 
the value about the value it may be a continuous value that means it can take any it may take any value or it may be a discrete value depending on the mathematical function of that particular analog signal so for example i have taken here a alternating signal sinusoidal alternating signal which, whose maximum value is 220 so here the maximum value of this uh, continuous time signal or analog signal is 220 and at different instants of time it has got different values like i uh, chose an example of 45 degree angle when the theta or omega t is 45 this value is 220 by root 2 when it is 30 it is 220 by half as we know sin 30 is half so accordingly at each and every point of time it has got some value or the other so analog signal means it is a continuous time continuous value or continuous time discrete value signal which is very important to understand because it has got value at every point of time i repeat analog signals means a signal which is readily available in nature any signal in nature you consider it is of analog nature that means it is existing at each and every point of time of during its existence so i hope that the understanding of analog signal is clear in the next lecture we'll take digital signal and discuss in detail